Now on the left we have a two gang two way switch and over here we have a one gang two way switch. And as you can see from the back, the terminals we have are L, which will be your main power cable, L1, which will be corresponding to the left button, and L2, which corresponds to the right button, and the two-way slot on the side is used to make this switch into a two-way switch. Now on this one, we have a one-gang two-way, so you can see L, L1, and your two-way slot. Now, the way these switches work is through signaling, which means the two-way slots on each side signal each switch to tell it what to do. So when you turn one switch on, so will the other through signals. Um, the, way, the, real, the only reason why there isn't as many terminals on these switches as you would normally have on a rocker switch is because these switches don't require more cable terminals because it is electronic and it's done through signaling, which is what we're going to show you now. Now, the way this works is you will have your main power cable going into the L1 to L terminal. You will have your light fit fitting that will be controlled as a two-way, which will go into the L1 terminal. And your light fitting that is controlled one way through this two-gang two-way light switch will go into the L2 terminal. Now as it's connecting to a one gang two way, the L2 terminal will work as a one way because there is no corresponding L2 on the other switch. Now to make these switches work as a two way, what you also need to do is have from your three core cable, connect one cable from the L terminal. into the L terminal of the second switch. This will use to give power to the second switch. And then you will also have another cable going from the two-way terminal of the first switch into the two-way terminal of the second switch. Make sure your cables are in correctly and try to pull it out, make sure it doesn't come out. Now that we have connected both switches, let's put them to the test. You wait about five seconds for the switches to learn which switch is which as your main power cable going into the switch will become your master switch and the second switch will become your slave. Now, when we turn the light on, which is the two-way, you will see, notice that both switches will come on where you can use the other switch to turn off that switch and the other light where it works as a one-way will work as a one-way. So you can turn this switch on from here, switch it off from there and again switch it on from here and switch it off from there and there you go. So basically L is your main cable along with the cable to the other switch which gives it power. L1 and L2 will be your main switch cables and the two-way to make it work as a two-way. As you can see the L1 terminal on the second switch is left empty and it does not require any other cable to be connected from this L1 to this L1 as the two-way terminals is what does the job. And basically that is it and thank you for watching.